everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I print my own waffle canvas fabric for hair bows. I have done some tutorials before too, to be exact, on how to print some canvas for your hair bows, but I do get asked for this one quite a lot. They want to know where I find the image and how I do it to print out, because a lot of people say, oh, where do you get the image from? And so I'm going to show you that today. This is the waffle fabric that I use to make my hair bows that I've done a tutorial for before. The ones with the puffy paint and the sprinkles. That's quite a popular tutorial. A lot of people love trying out that bow. And I've also got another idea to use with this, which I will make later. And I'll upload another tutorial for that tomorrow. I do back this because this is a, a 380 GSM canvas. But if you make a hair bow with this, it's quite thin. So... I buy these double-sided adhesive A4 size sheets, these ones here, they're double-sided adhesive. The yellow is just the paper which you peel off on both sides. And then I buy this just cheap craft felt. You can use a more a wool with a, a, a felt with a higher wool content if you prefer, but this cheap craft felt works fine, I find, for myself. But that's completely up to you, just to back your bows. So basically you get your... A4 size piece of felt, you peel off one side of your double sided adhesive, stick it on your felt, peel off the other sticky side and then stick your felt on so that you've then got a backed canvas for your bows. So the website I'm using for my fabric is called Vecteasy. Uh, many websites claim to offer free vector images for commercial use. However, most websites do have limitations when it comes to using their images for free. For example, they may allow you to use the images, but you've got to give the author or the creator of the image attribution. Or they may allow you to use the image for free, but you can only sell, say, up to 50 items with that image on. So always check the license of the image before you use it. So I'm going to search for seamless waffle and I'm searching vectors. You've got a little drop down box here. You can choose vectors or photos. So I'm choosing vectors. So we're going to search for seamless waffle. So these are all the images that come up. These ones with the little star and the pro, that's if you pay, you can pay so much to this website, like I think it's like a monthly subscription, and then you can use more of these images. You get more choice, obviously, as you can see, a lot of them have got the stars on. But I'm going to go for... Uh, see, these are for my stock. So I'm going to go for... This one here, I think, this one on the left looks nice. You could always use the brown if you'd wanted to do like a chocolate waffle cone. So I'm going to select this image. And then I'm going to right click on the image. And then I'm going to save image as. I'm going to go on Coles. This is where I save all of my all of my craft work, I save it under coal folder. Right, I save it under waffle texture, JPEG image, yeah, that's fine. Save. Now, noticed I right clicked on this picture as soon as that loaded up. That was kind of zoomed in when it first lo loaded up, and then that sort of goes smaller, because now, look, if I try to right click on it, I can't. I'll see if I can show you that again. Now, I, I could click download, but for some reason that just didn't work for me when I've tried that before. I have to right click on that image when that first load up. So let me see if I can show you that again. So if I go back and then I'll select that image again just to show you that you have to right click on it as soon as that load up. Oh no, see that's gone back, that's gone small immediately on this one. So I can't right click and save it now. I don't know why that is. If any of you know why that is, you have to let me know in the comments but this is just how I found I've just found that when you first load the web page up and you select the image you want I zoomed in quickly right click before that goes smaller and then you can save it otherwise I can't now right click and save that image can you do it like that no there's no way of doing it 
So I've already saved it. I'll just show you that you can, you can click on edit. I'm not an expert on computers, so I'm not any good at this kind of thing, but you can upload, you can get this page, sorry. You have to be on, this is a uh, Chromium. I'm on the Chromium, not Safari. If you're on Chromium, you can then get this up and you can edit this, you can edit the image. I don't know how you do it, but here you that you can completely edit it. I don't know how you do this, like I say, I'm not clued up on computers, but you could try that and then just cut this piece out what you want and then save it that way. But like I say, I'm just showing you the way that I do it. So I'm going to get off here and then I'm going to go on my greeting card at Factory Deluxe software. I'm going to open that up. This is Art Explosion Greeting Card Factory Deluxe version 11. This is what I bought a couple of years ago because I used to make greeting cards that I like to use it for my canvas printing. So I've gone on design from scratch and then you get all these different projects that you can open. Calendars, announcements, crafts, greeting cards. Mine is already highlighted on certificates because that's what I used last and that just automatically open up the last one that you used. I'm going to go on certificate tool. So this is your A5 sheet of paper now showing. You've got a ruler here at the top and at the sides. You can see any elements you add onto this page. You can see how big that's going to print out. Now I'm going to go on here, add items. Add graphic from file. And then I'm going to find where I saved that waffle image. These are all in alphabetical order, so I'm going down to where the W's are. A waffle texture vector, there it is. I haven't actually loaded up yet, but that's the one. So here's the image that we've saved. Now what I'm going to do is right click on there and I'm going to crop the image. So I'm going to go on edit and I'm going to crop it. Now I just want this light coloured fabric. Uh, waffle print sorry so I'm going to crop that into a roughly into a square right so now we've got this little square that we've cropped out now I'm just going to pop that in the corner I'm going to cut that so I've highlighted the image then I'm going to go to cut and then I'm going to paste it several times so just keep right clicking at the side and pasting it. And then we're going to put it all together like a little puzzle to create a seamless pattern. So I'm going to go right up to the edge of my paper. That don't matter if you go over the edge because when you print it out that won't show. Now this is where I need to zoom in a little bit. And you want to line up the pattern I'm going to try and line this up so you can't see the join. So I'm going to move it in a little bit. So as you can see now, you can't really see that join. So that's what you want. And you want to just keep doing that. All over your page. Like that. Now, when you get so far, you can then drag a square to highlight all of these images and then right click and group and then I'm just going to make that smaller because I want my this is obviously your A4 paper I want these waffles to be quite small I don't want them to actually look like a waffle I want it to look like a waffle ice cream cone so I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller and then you can cut that again paste and there you've got more together Let's just get rid of this one we can now delete this little square here and then what you can do now line that up with the page it's going to come down a little bit we can delete this one as well i've got quite a few on there now haven't i right then take this other square and then you're going to also puzzle this one up 
Oh, I nearly got that first time, look. Let's have a look. Almost. Yeah, so kind of like that. So as you can see, you're making a full seamless A4 pattern. So you're going to do that till you cover all of your page. I'll show you one that I've done before. So this one's slightly different waffle pattern. I can't remember where I got this one from, but I made the sort of little diamond pattern quite small because I wanted it to look like the waffles, which is, that is actually this one. I wanted the diamonds to look quite small. So I made the squares quite small and I just patterned it all up. That don't matter about the overhang because when I print it out, that only print, if you select a border, obviously that will print leaving a little border. But that is how you then do your fabric. Then when you've obviously done all your fabric and you've covered all the page, you then go to print. So print, and then you need to go to preferences. And you need to, this is on photo paper glossy. For the canvas, you need photo paper and it needs to be matte. So that's quite important for print and canvas. You must make sure that you've selected your paper as matte photo paper and high quality if you've got that option. Obviously all printers come up differently. The options come up differently. I've actually selected borderless on this one. So yeah, that'll print without a border as well. That's on A4. And then that's all ready to print. I'm not gonna actually print it out for now because as you can see, I've already got enough for now. But yeah, this is just to show you how I do my waffle fabric and how I lay it all out and puzzle it out to make the seamless pattern. Ignore this little bit of hair, I don't know what happened on that. But yeah, that is how I print this fabric for my waffle bows. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Um, if you've got any questions, pop them into the comments below because I know that is a little bit confusing, like with the how to save it and stuff. I don't know, that's just how I found that works on that Vecdeasy website. But I will also now put up a photo of all the websites that you can get your free vectors from. So if I put that up, you can take a screenshot of that and save that for future reference if you wish. So I'll do that next at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned to see that. But for now, I thank you for watching and I'll show you another tutorial using this fabric tomorrow. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.